So here we are in the kitchen. Now this is this is the baseboard where I first noticed that single bed bug. And like I said before, when you see one, there's always more. So don't don't uh, kid yourself and think that oh I just got a single bed bug. No, that's not the case. Uh, it's crawling up on the baseboard, and that's where I picked it up, put it in a bag. Now, if you notice, I have this white powdery substance down now. It is called DE, which I could pronounce, try to pronounce the full name, but I'll probably chop it up. So I have it written down for you in the in the video. You'll see it. Uh, put it up, put it along all of the baseboard, including behind my refrigerator. It goes back back in the back behind my stove as well. Um, but. There's a particularly special issue with this portion of the baseboard. On the other side of this wall, there's a gap underneath the baseboard. And so pretty much anything flat enough, particularly bad bug flat enough, can squeeze up under the baseboard and enter my apartment. So what I did first was I, uh, before I got the DE, I did a lot of vacuuming. And actually, uh, Believe it or not, I sprayed this hot shot. And uh, I've read a lot of reviews saying not to use it. You know, it's ineffective. Partly, some of it's true. The hot shot seemed to be effective towards um, the juvenile bed bugs. It actually killed them. But the adults, uh, it killed a few of the adults. But many of the adults were, uh, they became sluggish. Which made it easier for me to collect them up and kill them. But just tell them, just throwing that tad bit piece of uh, of information out. Uh, and like I said, uh, I used this, sprayed it, waited a few hours, and then I vacuumed under the baseboard. And, and behold, uh, a dozen or so bad bugs came up out of there. And so I continued to do that. And then I would kill them, dispose of the bags outside until I got the DE, which I placed the DE in the hallway on the other side. And uh, I can I prove the theory of mine that they were coming from the hallway. Must be an easier way out in the hallway for them to get down from the fourth floor. So um, when they would come pass through the DE that I put, put in the hallway, uh, they would come under the baseboard and they would be covered in DE. And so uh, that's how I knew they were coming directly from that other, exactly from right here on the other side of the wall. So I put DE on both sides. I used something very thin and I pushed that DE all the way in there. And I sprayed some of this and the pesticide person came out too as well. Sprayed more pesticides on the other side of the wall and then I put more DE down. So I mean, it's pretty, it's got to be pretty freaking obnoxious in there right now. Because, you know, man, some of the bad bugs are resistant to the pesticides. But, the combination of the DE and the pesticides, it'll do quick work of them. Now, that's not the only part of uh, controlling these, these creatures and getting rid of them. Uh, you have to take some more evasive action, like with your furniture. You have to examine your, your couch. Uh, the use of double-sided tape is a necessity on the legs. Um, and try actually, what I did, because I can't tell you what to do. As far as I can only tell you what worked for me in any eradicating and getting rid of these bad bugs was I stopped using my furniture in the living room. I needed them to come to my bedroom, which I'll show you in a minute what I did. I needed them to come for me because if you sit on anything else, the bad bugs will simply infest uh, other furniture. So the next part of this video is going to take us to... Not the bedroom, not just yet, but the doorway. And I, I have to show you what I did with the doorway. If you stay in a multifamily uh, uh, apartment unit, house, your setup's going to be entirely different. It's however you want, but you need to get the pesticide. That's important. So we'll move on to part three.